Uh, Parker now to Pfizer, top of the right circle, shoots, he scores! Taryn Pfizer rips it high. The Victoria Royals learned some difficult lessons a season ago. Three wins, a young roster, but a team that matured in leaps and bounds heading into this season. And that's got everyone in the BC capital ready to get cooking come October 1st. The fitness level, the energy level, the conditioning is outstanding. And also we're just seeing a real eagerness and happiness to be around and to have the freedom to be be in and around the city of Victoria, to be back at our home building, uh, to be together as a group in our dress room. The energy's just been fantastic. One of the best, if not the best, training camps I've seen in that regard. Yeah, camp's gone really well. Like we've, uh, we've worked really hard, and uh, I think we're finding a lot of success. Uh, we've got a good group. Uh, yeah, for sure, everyone's more excited, and it's a normal, normal season to look forward to. Everyone's excited. Forward Braden Sherman played big minutes for the Royals as a 16-year-old last spring and started this year's preseason by scoring three times in Victoria's first two games. The product of Abbotsford, B.C. is perfectly fine with being one of the big boys in Royal Blue at the tender age of 17. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, like I said before, like helping my team any way I can. If that's offensively, that's what it has to be. Um, I, I'd like to help all around. Um, I think anyone can help with uh, offensive ability. We've got lots of skilled. Uh, fast young guys, I think that'll be a big contributor to that. Defenseman Gannon LaRoque made the Royals out of camp last year and parlayed his performance with Victoria into becoming a fourth round pick of the San Jose Sharks this past July, bringing back memories of an NHL veteran that Price watched go about his work at the WHL level more than a decade ago. One interesting storyline for me with Gannon is he really reminded me of my very first training camp in this league, it was 2006, it was with the Chilliwack Bruins. And there was a free agent defenseman uh, in that camp named Nick Holden. And Nick was a 19-year-old free agent defenseman. And uh, But the awareness, the understanding of the game, uh, the similarities in a person that was a really cerebral player, but also like, tough and hard to play against, and just needed a little bit of time to grow into their bodies and grow into their frames. And I really see a similar style of play and similar qualities in Gannon in the sense of the awareness, the understanding of the game, the quality of character, and then all the hard work and preparation. Price will turn to Austrian Sebastian Ronischitz between the pipes this year. The world junior netminder, the latest in a long line of battlers in the Victoria Crease. And Sebastian is just such a humble, respectful person, and also just all about being a pro. And that's partly just his mindset Anyway, that's his default mindset, but also he's had some experience at the pro level, you know, playing overseas in Vienna, being around other pro players, uh, players who've had long careers already. He just has that understanding of what needs to be done mentally and physically to perform every day. Um, and he's just an awesome guy. He's funny. Um, he's ultra, ultra competitive in the net. For Sherman, the lessons from last year will carry over to this one with an acknowledgement that he and his mates will have to be at their best each and every night. It's hard to win in this league. you got to earn it every day. Um, you, can't, you can't take any days off. Um, and you got to learn from a uh, game. So one step at a time, move on from the next game, get focused for the next one. Sherman driving the net, put it under his stick. He shoots, he scores! What a beauty from Sherman!